Projective Geometry, Volume 1, by Oswald Biblin and John Wesley Young. Chapter 8, Projectivities in One-Dimensional Forms. Section 77, Projectivities of a Conic. We have seen that two projective conics may coincide, theorems 8 through 10, in which case we obtain a projective correspondence among the points or the tangents of the conic. The construction of the projectivity in this case is very simple and leads to many important results. It results from the following theorems. Theorem 12. If A, A prime are any two distinct homologous points of a projectivity on a conic and B, B prime, C, C prime, etc. are any other pairs of homologous points, the lines A prime B and A, B prime, A prime C and A, C prime, etc. meet any point of the same line, and this line is independent of the pair A, A prime chosen. Theorem 12 prime. If A, A prime are any two distinct homologous tangents of a projectivity on a conic, and B, B prime, C, C prime, etc. are any other pairs of homologous tangents, the points A prime B and A, B prime, a prime C and A C prime, etc., are collinear with the same point, and this point is independent of the pair A A prime chosen. Proof: the pencils of lines A prime with A B C dot 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 and A with A prime B prime C prime dot 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 are projective by theorem 10, and since they have a self-corresponding line A A prime, they are perspective and the pairs of homologous lines of these two pencils therefore meet in the points of a line, figure 88. This proves the first part of the theorem on the left, that the line thus determined is independent of the homologous pair A A prime chosen, then follows at once from the fact that this line is the Pascal line of the simple hexagon A B prime C A prime B C prime so that the lines B prime C and B C prime and all other analogously formed pairs of lines meet on it. The theorem on the right follows by duality. Definition. The line and the point determined by the above dual theorems are called the axis and center of the projectivity respectively. Corollary 1. A non-identical projectivity on a conic is uniquely determined when the axis of projectivity and one pair of distinct homologous points are given. Corollary 1 prime. A non-identical projectivity on a conic is uniquely determined when the center and one pair of distinct homologous tangents are given. These corollaries follow directly from the construction of the projectivity arising from the above theorem. This construction is as follows. Given the axis O and a pair of distinct homologous points A A prime, to get the point P prime homologous with any point P on the conic, join P to A prime. The point P prime is then on the line joining A to the point of intersection of A prime P with O. Or, given the center O and a pair of distinct homologous tangents A A prime, to construct the tangent P prime homologous with any tangent P, the line joining the point A prime P to the center meets A in a point of P prime. Corollary 2. Every double point of a projectivity on a conic is on the axis of the projectivity, and conversely, every point common to the axis and the conic is a double point. Corollary 2 prime. Every double line of a projectivity on a conic contains the center of the projectivity, and conversely, every tangent of a conic through the center is a double line of the projectivity. Corollary 3. A projectivity among the points on a conic is parabolic if and only if the axis is tangent to the conic. Corollary 3 prime. A projectivity among the tangents to a conic is parabolic if and only if the center is a point of the conic. Theorem 13. A projectivity among the points of a conic determines a projectivity of the tangents in which the tangent at pairs of homologous points are homologous. Proof. This follows at once from the fact that the collineation in the plane of the conic which generates the projectivity transforms the tangent at any point of the conic into the tangent at the homologous point. 
and hence also generates a projectivity between the tangents. Theorem 14. The center of a projectivity of tangents on a conic and the axis of the corresponding projectivity of points are pole and polar with respect to the conic. Proof. Let A A prime B B prime C C prime figure 89 be three pairs of homologous points, A A prime being distinct. And let A prime B and A B prime, A prime C and A C prime meet in points R and S respectively, which determine the axis of the projectivity of points. Now the polar of R with respect to the conic is determined by the intersections of the pairs of the tangents at A prime B and A B prime respectively. And the polar of S is determined by the pairs of tangents at A prime C and A C prime respectively. Theorem 13, Chapter 5. The pole of the axis RS is then determined by the intersection of these two polars. Theorem 17, Chapter 5. But by definition, these two polars also determine the center of the projectivity of tangents. This theorem is obvious if the projectivity has double elements. The proof given, however, applies to all cases. The collineation generating the projectivity on the conic transforms the conic into itself and clearly leaves the center and axis invariant. The set of all collineations in the plane leaving the conic invariant form a group, chiefly page 67. In determining a transformation of this group, any point on any line of the plane may be chosen arbitrarily as a double point or a double line of the collineation, and any two points or lines of the conic may be chosen as a homologous pair of the collineation. The collineation is then, however, uniquely determined. In fact, we have already seen that the projectivity on the conic is uniquely determined by its center and axis and one pair of homologous elements, theorem 12, corollary 1. And the theorem just proved shows that if the center of the projectivity is given, the axis is uniquely determined and conversely. Corollary 1. A plane projective collineation which leaves a non-degenerate conic in its plane invariant is of type 1 if it has two double points on the conic, unless it is of period 2, in which case it is of type 4, and is of type 3 if the corresponding projectivity on the conic is parabolic. Corollary 2. An elation or a collineation of type 2 transforms every non-degenerate conic of its plane into a different conic. Corollary 3. A plane projective collineation which leaves a conic in its plane invariant and has no double points on the conic has one and only one double point in the plane. Theorem 15. The group of projective collineations in a plane leaving a non-degenerate conic invariant is simply isomorphic with the general projective group on a line. Footnote. Two groups are said to be simply isomorphic if it is possible to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of the two groups such that to the product of any two elements of one of the groups corresponds the product of the two corresponding elements of the other. Projective Geometry, Volume 1. This book was written by Oswald Bablin and John Wesley Young. It was published by Blaisdell Publishing Company, London, 1910, and is now in the public domain. It is read by Jim Renholt, with programming and illustration by Jim Renholt, 2019. Thank you for listening.